All right, guys, if we could get a like for my shoe game, I'd appreciate it. Jeez! Welcome to Shredded Strength, season two. Let's get it. But I think you should come and take a ride. See the world through my eyes. Every day is a surprise. So I party like my birthday. LA is my birthplace. First place, west side. Loud as I want to be. What's going on guys? It's been a minute since we brought the series back. Uh, we've come a couple times and struggled and said we'd actually commit every single time. But this is the one time we feel completely ready. If you guys are seeing this, we're only uploading this because we have four videos queued. So we're going to be on top. And we've got a ton of exciting stuff coming up in our lives that we want to document with you. We've been getting really strong. Um, I'm sure you guys saw in the last video, we've hit some serious PRs lately and we're continuing to push towards that. We're really committing this power thing. We're still power building, so we're working physique. And shredded strength is the perfect situation because Kyle had that huge bulk. He's going to be shredding down. I'm just going to try to stay nice and lean as I get nice and strong. Furthermore, throughout the series, we have some exciting things planned. We're going to be in Louisville, Kentucky, the start of June. And then we also, I think we can announce this, hopefully, we're going to have a powerlifting seminar with Nick Bear, bunch of those other beauties kind of down in Texas and we'll give you more details to that as we get closer to so two really dope events coming up and we're just so amped to kind of get this all fired up and what kind of inspired us to reignite the series was it's like the perfect time we have this good gym we're getting more into strength training we're the strongest we've ever been and we've been really obsessed with this philosophy of three pillars of fitness so if you guys imagine you have a stool with three legs there's you need all three legs to keep you up if one leg kind of gives out you're gonna tip over and fall that's what Treaded Strength is all about. So we've got nutrition. We've got to be dialing that down. We've got some really cool new opportunities with that. We're going to show you guys what we've been doing for meal prep. It has been amazing. It's been a game changer. So you've got to be on your nutrition. You've got to be on your training. We've got to be pushing it in here. We've got to be perfect. Then we've got to be on our lifestyle too. So these three facets are what you need to control to be really successful. Because if your nutrition falls short, you can have the best training and the best sleep habits, lifestyle habits. And you still won't be as successful as someone who's killing all three. And just take out any one of these legs like if you're great with nutrition, you're great in the gym, but you're partying every night, getting two hours of sleep, like not living a healthy lifestyle, doing a lot of drugs, stuff like that, it's gonna just sabotage your results. So we're really obsessed with that. We're gonna center everything around these three pillars. It's gonna be kind of our core, and uh, let's get into some heavy squats. Well, not too heavy, kind of heavy. Go slow-mo. So guys, you want to attack your squats. Attack it, buddy. There we go. Sets of four to six here. Naturally, Kyle's got to bang six. Let's go. Clean, one more. You're moving quick, buddy. Let's go. So as of lately, we've been deadlifting and squatting two times a week. So after this, we're just doing one set, so that was it. Trying to be as speedy as possible. I have a lot of work to do there. All right guys, so now that we've gone a bit more into powerlifting, I had the opportunity to get this SPD belt. This is like the Louis Vuitton of gym belts. So if you see someone with this, they're rolling, they're packing. This thing, like look, this is like Hugh Hafner's belt right here. We got red carpet underneath, pure leather. 13 mil, so it's a little bit thicker. Um, a common misconception with the belt is that you actually use it to protect your back. Its main purpose is just to get that inter-abdominal pressure to give you something to brace against. Because a lot of people when they do the exercise of a very weak core, but you need to breathe out, push against that, and stay tight into the belt. And that's its biggest aid. So this is like a piece of plywood essentially. This gives me so much more to brace with. I've only done a couple of warm sets. I haven't super, super used it yet, but so far I've liked it from like the four sets I've done. I'll keep you guys updated. It's way stiffer, but I would say it's not like too rigid. Like I don't think I'm gonna bruise too, too much. I've been in the belt game for a while, I've done inter only, but so far I like this sucker. And the beauty is, it's fully adjustable, so you can set it to any site, right? So normally if you get a lever, you're constrained to like having no buckle, but here, I still have my buckle, so snap in, snap out, but I can ch change where it's positioned each time. So this is really cool, uh, pretty fun. It's like $300 though, so is it worth it? Eh, I don't know, if you guys wanna, Trick yourself out, get something fun, go for it. I mean, the injury's pretty solid through and through. That's my quick little take. Woo! 
Easy. 420 is so light now. Go ahead and get 15 with this. <clears throat> Alright guys, so for our deadlift accessory, we decided to do something fun. We're gonna do some heavy tire flips. I'm gonna be wearing my belt. I'm just wearing my belt a bunch to work it in. You don't really need it for a ton of things. I primarily will just use it for squat, uh, deadlift. I'm not a huge fan of it on bench. I also like it for barbell rows. I would say those are the three I really utilize my belt on. But when they're really new, they're really stiff, so you gotta work them in, kind of get them broken in around your hips. Um, for tire flips, it's all about intensity, guys. You wanna get nice and low. If you never tried them, really wide stance. Push that butt down. You wanna lift hard with the hips. Try not to shoot your hips early, because then you're gonna be lifting fully with your back. You'll see when we do it, we're squatting low. We're raising with our hips. We're kind of doing a hip thrust through, firing it up, switching that stance, strong push. So let's get it, we're going two laps with a 500 pound tire, this is no joke, but it's good cardio. Third sets get heavy. All right guys, I've recently fallen in love with chin-ups again. Rather pull-ups, chin-up is underhand in front. Pull-up is when you pull up this way. Key things with pull-up are big lockout. You want to squeeze, raise that chest to the bar. Squeeze those lats. Pretend you got that tennis ball just like the lat pull-down. A lot of people ask me why I don't do weighted or if they should do weighted chin-ups. I'm against it because I'm going to try to get eight strict chin-ups and it is going to be a grind, guys. Big stretch, come up with power, get that chin over the bar. I'm going to try to keep form as tight as I can. I'm super lanky, so I got that against me, but I can really work those lats. Love chin-ups. I love moving my body weight. That's something we're really trying to become masters of in this process of shredded strength. Let's see if I can get my aid. Get it, three, four, six, come on. Get it up, last one. Up, up, up. There you go. Alright guys, so as you know, our biggest video is how to lap pull down, but in this gym we don't have one here, but we love this exercise, and this one's actually even better. We're going to be doing unilateral, uh, we're going to be doing one arm at a time, we're seated, so we're on the floor, and it's great because Rogue is here and wants to get in the camera, but we've already done a lot of heavy lifting, there's times for that, but now we're just really focusing on getting good contractions, bringing the elbow all the way down and getting a nice squeeze, so let's get it. All right guys, two second hold, two, two. Big stretch, squeeze that lat, pull that elbow down. Squeeze that back tight, let's go. Four, two. Might look a little silly sitting down, but we don't care, we're here to get gains, get results. Forearms are gonna scream, it's okay. And that's all we have for you guys this time. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video. Every single Monday, 2 p.m. Eastern time, we will be uploading a shredded strength video. So stay tuned for that. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Also make sure to hit that like button and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.